Hi everyone, welcome back to our series on mastering Notion. In the last video, I introduced you to the basics of Notion and its key features. Today, we'll take you through setting up your first Notion workspace from creating an account to customizing your settings. This video is perfect if you're just starting out and want to get your workspace up and running smoothly. Okay, let's get started by creating our Notion account. So we're gonna head over to the uh, Notion homepage here, which is just notion.so, or you can click the link in the description below. We're gonna click on get Notion uh, free here. You'll then be prompted to enter your email address. Now, once you've done that, you'll be taken to a screen here and it will ask you, how do you want to use Notion? So we're just gonna select for personal use. Then Notion is gonna prompt you to add in some interests. If we want, we can skip this or we can just select a few, a few topics. So how about we select food and nutrition, hobbies, and a to-do list. Let's click continue. Now, once you have done all of that, you'll be taken to, uh, well, the Notion dashboard, and you'll be greeted by this page here, which essentially is a kind of like a warm-up uh, tutorial checklist on uh, learning the basics of Notion. And so if you want, you could go through each of these, clicking these off. Notion also provides you with some template pages. Uh, here we have like a weekly to-do list, uh, maybe a journal, a meal planner, uh, but for, for this, we're just going to delete these pages here. So we're going to click on delete, delete, delete. Now, before we get started creating uh, any pages, let's take a look at Notion's interface. And so on the left, uh, this is where we have our sidebar. So this is where you can find all of your settings. It's also where you can access all of your uh, different pages and different workspaces as well. Uh, you can collapse the sidebar, or if you'd like, you can have it kind of in sticky mode and have it stick to the side here. Personally, I like hiding it just so I have a better view of the screen, uh, but it just comes down to your own preference. Let's take a look up here. We have a search bar where you can quickly search and jump to any page in your entire Notion uh, database. We also have a home page that will kind of show you a general overview of, of various task databases, upcoming events, uh, things like that. We also have an inbox where you can be notified of any kind of mentions or page activity uh, if you are collaborating with other people in your workspace. Uh, and then we also have settings and members. So let's take a look here. So if we take a look at our account settings, there's a few things that we can do. We come over to a my account here we can change out our uh, display name if we want uh, we can also add a profile picture as well so i'm going to do this right now so here i have added my own profile picture this is how others uh, will see my profile who are able to access my workspace if we come over to my settings we can also change uh, the appearance of how notion looks like so we can change this from either light or dark mode. I know a lot of people really prefer using dark mode. Personally, I, I do enjoy using light mode, uh, but you could also switch it to dark as well. I think you can also press control shift L uh, to change it, quickly change it from light and dark mode. You can also change your date and time and then customize any uh, cookie settings that you wanna change. If we come over to my notifications, we can change the uh, notifications that the Notion app will send us. Uh, this doesn't affect uh, any of the browser settings, but if you do have the Notion app, then you can change these notifications. We can also uh, connect any different kinds of apps like Slack and Google Drive to our Notion and then change our language settings. Now let's take a look at the workspace uh, settings. Here we can upgrade our plan. So right now you will start on a free plan. Uh, once you get comfortable with Notion, I would highly recommend moving over to the plus plan. This is where you can invite up to 100 guests into your uh, workspace, uh, but it also has uh, unlimited uh, block space, which is kind of like a measure of uh, storage. But also what I really like here is the unlimited file uploads. Uh, I'm a teacher and I like to use Notion for lesson planning. So I upload full PowerPoints and documents uh, into my workspaces. And so having an unlimited file upload is just really helpful. 
And also we see here that charts are coming soon, which I'm pretty excited for. Let's go over to uh, settings here. Here we can change our entire workspace settings, so we can change our company name. Let's call this the Notion Basics Series, and then if we want, we can also change this icon. I'm just going to change this to the Notion logo here. If we come over to Team Spaces, uh, we can change how we manage the permissions levels for all of our workspaces. Uh, later in this video tutorial, I'll go into more detail about how permissions work. Similar with the people setting, here we can adjust uh, kind of the permission levels of everyone that is invited in our workspace. Uh, one quick thing to note here is that if we go over to guests, we can also add members this way. Um, by adding guests, we can either search their name or we can type in their email address. Sites just shows us how many of our Notion pages are published to the web. We can also change our uh, security information. So if you upgrade to a business plan or an enterprise plan, you can have more uh, advanced features on security here. With identity and provisioning, we don't really have to worry about this too much. This is just for business and enterprise accounts. If we come over to connections, this will show how, which apps uh, we have uh, currently connected to Notion. Another cool thing about Notion is its ability to import data from other areas. So if you have a giant spreadsheet or like a CSV file, you can uh, import it all into Notion uh, like here. Okay, so that's it for about settings and the uh, sidebar. Uh, let's begin uh, by creating our first page. So I'm going to delete this get started page here by clicking on delete. And we can create a new page just by clicking on add a page here. Let's call it uh, my home page. And we can now see that our home page is showing up on the side here. If we would like, we can then add in an icon. Let's give it a home icon. And then we can also add a cover. Notion has all of these uh, covers that we can choose from, so we can either use their gallery or we can upload our own cover. And if we really want, we can even go to Unsplash as well and search for a more detailed cover. But for this, let's just click on one of these base colors here. Okay, great. And that's how we sign up for Notion, navigate the workspace, and then customize your settings. Now you're ready to start building your own pages and organizing your information. In the next video, we'll dive deeper into creating and managing pages in Notion. Uh, and this will help you make the most out of the platform and just keep everything in order. So if you'd like to see how this is done, uh, go over to the next video in this series.